find the derivative of e to the e to the e. So the trick is that e is a number. It's approximately 2.718, etc. It's an irrational number. The digits repeat and there is no pattern. So this is a number to a number to a number. So this is a number. And when you take the derivative of a number, you get zero. Because this is just a constant. Remember, the derivative is the rate of change. And so if you have a constant, that means it's not changing. So the rate of change, which is the derivative, should be equal to zero.